So on this Kubernetes cluster, I've got two pods running. One of them is called fake, and we're going to need this IP address 10.32.0.3. I've already gone into the fake pod and I am I've made it listen on port 80 and if it gets any message on port 80, it's going to respond with the word hello. The other pod I've got running here is victim. And let's exec into victim and run a shell. And from here, if I were to, for example, curl to example.com, I should get back uh, the normal HTTP response that we would expect from example.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ARP spoofing to uh, have a another a third pod called hacker i'm going to have that intercept art requests pretend to be the dns service and send fake responses to dns requests that get uh, requests basically directed to that fake pod so i'm going to trace out cap capable events this is where we're going to see when uh, a new container is looking for new capabilities and I'm going to run a, a hacker pod you can see it's already looked for some capabilities mostly sysadmin by the looks of it and I'm going to exec into that hacker pod I've got a hosts file here and uh, let's just change example.com to be 10.32.0.3 so that's the IP address of the fake pod and now I'm going to start the exploit now I want you to notice that it does look for that capnet raw capability amongst others but every time it wants to send an art packet it needs to be able to um, it needs this capability and it is taking over DNS requests. So now if I curl to example.com again from the victim, my hacker pod is intercepting, uh, well, it's pretending to be the DNS service and it's responding, it's gonna respond with a spoofed response any second now. And there we have it. It spoofed the response uh, saying that example.com is at the IP address of the fake pod. The fake pod received the request and responded with the text hello.